Hello everyone, long time no see. Um, I wanted to make another video today to show you a couple of new things, okay? So I want to show you how to combine loops, okay? How to shift loops around in the circle and some of the general settings that I think might be important to you guys, okay? So the first one is how to combine loops. Now I've been practicing this for a while and I still can't get it to work all of the time, okay? So be patient if it doesn't go right away. So let's say I've got a loop like bing bong, bing bong, and I've got another one that I want to add to it, so I don't know. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding all right, so let's say I don't want this one to be quite so noisy. Haha. -ha. All right. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> all right. So basically, it's a drag and drop, and you can use this also to move, for example, this one over to here or whatever you want to do with it. Okay. So what you're looking for um, is this glowing orange kind of circle here. So I can move it anywhere I want to move it. Um, but if I want to merge them, then I just drag them like that. and they're there together, okay? Um, the pros to that is that if you have, um, for example, two sections of your song, maybe one's like faster and one's slower, or they have different tonalities or whatever, then you can basically easily create something where um, you can switch back and forth between those moods or settings quite quickly and easily. So then you can have maybe five tracks that you have all together that are section one in this guy and section two with five other tracks or whatever is here. So then you can make them happen, um, oops, you can make them happen um, really quickly when after the other not have to be like, okay, section one, ding, 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 ding. Okay, I did section one, now section two, like off, 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 on, 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 on. Um, and that's, that's quite helpful, I think. So, um, that's combining loops, okay? Let's say you record something and you love the way it sounds, but it doesn't quite line up, okay? So what you can do is you can take two fingers and kind of pinch, and then you can drag around. And the wonderful thing is that there's a little arrow that shows up where your original starting place was, okay? So let's say you do it and you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds worse. Um, then you can move it back towards um, the the line here, which is like your downbeat or one, okay? Um, but let's say you want to move it all the way around, then you can do that as well, okay? Um, so that's how you shift your loops around. Um, and then quickly, just a few settings that uh, might be helpful to you. Um, down here, you've got, oh, I got here, sorry, by going to the our orange sidebar and pressing settings, okay? Um, when you scroll down to the bottom here, play in background, um, this is like, let's say you have another music making app that you want to maybe play over some of the stuff that you've recorded in Loopy, um, then you can do that by, by switching this to on, and then for example going to like your iPad keyboard or whatever and playing a little something. Um, I think recording would be really messy with this because then you have to switch in between apps, but if you're just looking to play along, or um, mess with it a little bit, this could be really great for you, okay? Um, input gain, let's say you've got an instrument that's, or your voice is too loud or it's too quiet, um, this basically changes how, how loud it is here, okay? So if you feel like, I don't know, if you have, if you want to record on the piano but you can't do anything with it in terms of like moving it farther away so the piano is too loud, you can just turn the input gain down and the sounds that go that are inputted will be quieter. Okay. Um, the other one that I think is really great is here, your track layout. Okay. So I often was feeling with six tracks, like I didn't have quite enough. Um, so you can change to nine tracks or six tracks here. Um, mine's right now in twelve, but if I go back to six, which is the default, then you'll recognize this quite easily. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, of course, there's so many other things you can do if you were in your settings and kind of exploring, you would see a lot of things that to a lot of us don't make any sense. So like control inputs and you're like, Ugh. I think these all have to do with when you're putting in an instrument, plugging an instrument into the app um, to do recordings that way instead of just using the microphone. Um, and there's a lot of potential here in Loopy. I do think that it's a very complicated app. And so I hope that this has helped you guys to um, be a little bit more creative with it. And I hope you're having fun. Bye.